Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Quizlet in your classroom. Um, now I've used Quizlet for a number of years and at first I thought it was not going to work for the lower grades. I won't lie to you. Um, in the year I taught fifth grade, I used Quizlet a lot and my older daughter uses it a lot and we really loved it. Um, and then when I went down back down to kindergarten after that year, I realized, oh my gosh, we can still use Quizlet um, a ton. So you can see I went to Quizlet and I have a free account. Um, I do not pay for any of this stuff. Um, and you can see some of the older grade things that I made. And then I'm going to show you some of the younger grade things that I made, okay? So um, Quizlet is free. There are levels to this, but I only have the basic. Um, so let me show you one of the sets I have made. So this is addition. And I just have um, basic 12 cards. And these are all 10 plus. So if we are going to use that skill. Now, the magic number in Quizlet is 12. It is not 10 like it is with most things. It's 12, and I'm going to show you why in just a minute, okay? So when you go in and you make a set, I will show you how to do that. This site is very powerful because it gives you tons of options. So you can see right here we're on flashcards. They also have a learn mode. So learn has, um, you have to answer everything twice in order to get it correctly. And so they're going to ask you, it's like kind of like a little quiz thing, um, but they're going to ask you in different ways. Now, this one's a little bit more boring because I did a math skill here, and there's not a whole lot here. But imagine if you had a big vocabulary term up here, and then you had um, answers in the blank below. So you can see that the reason it's so boring on this one is because it's really made for a ton of content if you wanted to use a ton of content. All right. So you can see it said how many I got. It said um, mastered. I think they want you to do it quicker to get mastered. Um, but I just want to show you that little learn mode. So it's really good for kids to use. They have a write mode where you'd have to type in the answer. So on this, you'd have to type in 10 plus 1. Correct. And then you'd have to continue. I'm not sure kindergarten kids would necessarily do that. Um, they have a spelling one. 10 plus 1. So this would be really great for kids um, that are auditory learners. And they can type it and then they can listen to it. They also have a test option. This works really great with vocabulary, obviously. But I like it because the teacher doesn't generate this. The, the website generates it. So you only type in very basic. And right here they have written matching and multiple choice answers. All right, so those are the basic things. Now there's three other versions that are more play-based. So this is called match, and this is like a big scramble, okay? It looks different than what you might think, but it is a matching game. All right, so when you connect them, it makes them disappear. So 20 is two sets of 10, so then they disappear. So that's why I wanted to tell you what it was ahead of time because it can look a little crazy. Now the other thing is some of the pieces are hidden under some of my um, my controlling panel things, so <laughs> I don't want to end the, uh, this little video real quick. Good job, and it times you, and it lets you see how fast um, you did it, and you can beat your own time or other people in your class. So that's another really fun game to play. Gravity is also a game that they have. Now, if I remember correctly, Gravity works on computers, but not iPads, so it doesn't work on the iOS systems. Um, there are different levels you can play with this, and you have to watch out for the red asteroids. If you miss a term twice, it'll destroy your planet. So on this one, you have to type in as well. So that answer is 10. 16. Ooh, I can push escape to skip. Okay, so you can kind of see how that little game goes. And then live. Now, I won't lie, Quizlet Live is one of my favorite learning tools in the classroom. I always use it this time of year. Now, I can't do Quizlet Live live because it won't work. But here's why 12 is the magic number. With Quizlet Live, if you have 12 questions and 12 unique answers, and I also chose math for this example. So you can't have 
10 plus 2 equals 12 and then 11 plus 1 equals 12 because those answers would not be unique. But if you have 12 questions and 12 unique answers, you can play this live game. I'm going to click it and it'll tell you if you can play it or not, uh, but you can create a game. Now what happens is, is that um, the kids, how'd you like to play? Mm, it's, ooh, I like this. This is different than what I've seen before. So they're always making it better. So what would happen is the kids would get on their devices and they could scan this code or they could type in this number. Now the reason we can't do it together is because we have to have four students to do it and we don't have four students. But what it does is it takes all of your students and it says, okay, we're all playing this game. Then when you push play game, then it takes those kids and it divides them into animals and it's random grouping. So you don't know what animals you're going to get and you don't know who's going to be in what group. And it flashes up on their actual device what animal they are. So like if it's the penguins, everybody who has a penguin on their device has to go to a local meeting group, like a certain table or a certain area in the room, because they're going to get their penguins. Um, and it'll give you time for everybody to get in their group. Okay, so then when all the kids get in their animal group, what will happen is they will have four options for answers and then they will see blank columns everybody in their group has four options they can see and three blank columns and what that means is that everybody in that group has some correct answers and some answers that somebody else has correct they have to work together as a team to um to answer correctly so like if they push 10 plus 1 on the screen your answer might not be 11, but somebody in your group, one person in your group has that correct answer. Then on your teacher computer, you can see all of the groups and how they're progressing. And if you miss one, you go all the way back down to the bottom. You get zero and you have to start building back up. This makes your kids collaborate with each other. It can't make them go too fast because they have to figure out what the problem is and figure out if they have the answer or if somebody else in their answer has that um, in their group has that answer so it's it's a really fun resource now I've heard some older grades are playing this live um, on like a zoom or whatever but you would have to have your kids understand the patience that they might not have the right answer there but somebody in their um, in their animal group that they don't know who's in their animal group might I think that'd be a little bit much for kindergarten but I think it'd be possible for some all right so now that you know what Quizlet can do. Let's talk about how we can make it, okay? So we're going to go to create a Quizlet, okay? I guess they have some new tools. Okay, so we're going to create a new study set. I'm going to enable um, subtract subtraction with sets of five. So what I want my kids to do is I want them to be practicing putting down five at a time to subtract. That's a strategy that we're struggling up taking away sets of five uh, we're not really good at that now you can add tons of images they even have definitions you can pull in um, you can do um, google image searches over here so it has a lot of good things you can do but i'm going to do seven minus five equals okay and then you can see you can enter the answer over here too and then we're going to go 10 minus 5, 5. Oh, I'm going to have to choose language. It does not assume everybody speaks English, which we shouldn't be assuming. English 3, English. Okay. Um, so you can see those on there. It's going to make me go back and do the language on these two, since it's going to go ahead and do it real quick. English, English. Okay, so you can definitely add images as well. And remember, you could add more cards right here, but you really want to get to that magic 12. That would be the great thing. Okay, so we're going to create. We could share it if we want to. Lots of options to share. I'm not going to at this point in time, but I've made a deck, okay? Super fun. Next thing I want us to do is, I, oh, oh, actually, let me show you how to share. Okay. I'm going to go to all my sets I've created. This is the one we just created together. So if I want to share it out, 
I can send it straight to my kids email. I can copy the link to them. I can send it to um, them on Google Classroom. I can do Remind. Now remember, if you're going to play it in your classroom, do you see how right here live isn't an option because you don't have 12, they don't let you play it. Um, but if you wanted to um, play the live version, if you had 12, you could click live and go with it from there. Um, what I would do to probably share this is I would copy this link and send that link out um, as a hyperlink to my kids. Okay, so you learned how to create. Now we're going to browse. All right, since we did um, since we did math before, let's see if we can find. We'll do the same thing we did for the other one, rhyming. And you can see this one might be cool because it has 12 terms. And we could play live with this if we wanted to. And it has lots of picture-rich images. So I want to see this one. Let's see this one. I can quickly go through and see what they look like. Um, and, I can, and I can see if I like it. I can come down here and see cat hat. They give the image out. I can add it to mine and, and edit it. Um, and I can even say, ooh, I like this author. Let me see what else that she makes or he makes and see if I wanna if I wanna go to them. So if I like this one, I could go to this person's profile. I'm not because that might not be respectful to them digitally, um, but I could go to them and I could see what they have. So while I'm thinking of that, Mine is Mary underscore Amoson. If you want to grab any of the ones I've already made, I'm Mary underscore Amoson. You can look for any one that I created and, um, and grab any of those, of course. So I want you to see how easy this is. Um, if we do get back to our kids this year, absolutely try doing a live. Um, but this is super, super good. It's a little bit harder to search in Quizlet for um, games and activities because there's so much there. So I think sometimes that's overwhelming because there are so many languages, there are so many options, but I think it's just because it's such a powerful tool that, that there's just a lot of people use it. Um, to get on Quizlet, they can go to the website, they can follow the hyperlink, or they can go to the app as well. So there's lots of, um, lots of really fun features with Quizlet. So I hope that helps you and I hope that maybe motivates you to try Quizlet and please go on Quizlet and um, grab all my games that are public.